Hey everyone, Jim here with some frequently asked Unity questions from the Infinity PBR Discord. So let's dive in. I have an ERP project here, and let's bring in a human character. So I'll go to Characters and bring in Human Male version 4. And then I'm going to collapse the blend shape so I can get to the audio source to turn it off so that when I press F, I zoom right into the character instead of really far back. The magenta color is usually the result of a shader error. To upgrade these standard materials to the new ERP or HDRP materials, just go up to Edit and Render Pipeline and Universal Render Pipeline and then Upgrade Project Materials to Universal RP Materials and Proceed. Now things are mostly fixed, but not the hair, of course. And that's because the hair is a special shader that Unity didn't understand because it wasn't the standard shader. So let's select the hair and see what's going on. Okay, so the shader is an AV standard hair. AV are the initials of the programmer who made this shader. So let's go into AV and there is a, another uh, version in ERP. And you could just select hair there and it fixes it. So I'm going to go in and change the blue color by clicking on the blue color swatch. And I'll make it a dark color. And then uh, to make his hair black, I'll just desaturate the hair and bring down the uh, albedo. Okay, next up, let's fix his eyes because they look a little strange. So I'm going to click on his cute little nose. And then if you go into the human eyes material, so I'll expand that. So this is the iris part of the eye and the iris is actually not reflective. So I'm going to bring down the smoothness. The eye has two uh, meshes, one for the iris and the other for the cornea. And that one is reflective. And you can see that right here. Okay, let's press play and check them out. All right, so then we see that we have some skin poking through his pants. The reason for this is that Unity has reduced the number of bones that can influence a vertex. So go to Edit and Project Settings, and then go to Quality, and then where it says Skin Weights, change that from two bones to four bones. That will allow a max of four bones to control every vertex on our human. I guess you could think of it kind of like skin weight resolution. So with a greater resolution, the bones can better control the mesh, which means no more skin popping through the pants. Okay, my final tip will be to change the default pose of the character, because if you're building out a scene, it's weird to have all of the characters in T poses. So this is actually really easy to do. All you need to do is press play. And then when the character is in a pose that you like, just pause the game. And then control C, copy your character, and then unpause the game, and then control V, paste your character, and the character will be in the pose that you copied. Just note that the character is no longer a prefab, but you can make a new prefab. All right, hope that was helpful. Now we can move on to the cool stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time.